Hi, I'm Dano. I'm here with uh, James Carpino. James Carpino. We're checking out the smallest known printer in the universe. Can you tell us more about how you built this printer? A lot of you know what uh, uh, the printer bot Simple is by Brook Drum. And uh, he, he has released the source to that, so I took the artwork. I noticed that there were four millimeter bearings and, and rods that I could buy, and NEMA 8 motors were available. And I, so, I, so I collected parts, and I printed, I laser cut the artwork at 0.53 scale, because 0.5 was uh, just not quite right for some things. And I put it together and I started working out the problems. There were a bunch of issues. It's not a perfect thing. Um, but but after I started uh, working out a lot of the issues, it's a very well working robot. Uh, it prints. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about the motor you're using to drive this thing. Okay, so those are NEMA, um, NEMA 8s. I've been buying them from Pololu and Steppers Online. And uh, not to plug anyone in particular, but um, they they have only they're only rated at two and a half ounce inches, uh, whereas like a regular stepper motor might be uh, you know like up to seventy ounce inches. Um, that seems like a problem, but the printer's smaller and it has a ten tooth pulley instead of a twenty tooth pulley, which gives you uh, a factor of, of two. And it's also a lighter printer. If it's a half the size in each direction, it's actually an eighth of the mass. So it, in the end, it can actually work. It's really nice that it actually works. So it was, this is a test of miniaturization. I really wanted to see how this would work out because I want to make smaller uh, printers. I wanted to make smaller printers. I wanted to see what different rods would work, what, what uh, motors would work. That's what I was trying to figure out. So the nozzle, you uh, custom made this on a lathe? Yeah, um, that's a peak nozzle, the conventional um, J-head kind of nozzle uh, with the heat insulator, but using a, a Mark 7 uh, print head and heat block. Uh, and I might not stay with that, but uh, that actually works very well. It seems to it seems to have a lot of plenty of flow. Works just fine. Doesn't overheat, and um, I'm going to have better mounting. This was the this was the first model. I just kind of clamped it on there, and uh, and and I wanted it to be to scale. So that's 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 like a three eighth inch piece, and uh, inside is a, a three millimeter. He, uh, Teflon, Teflon 2. So if people wanted to find out more info about this printer, is there anything uh, online yet that can be checked out? I have out? A, a blog, uh, miniwrap.com, and you can check there. Uh, I'll put more information there about how people can actually do this as I, as I go along. Cool. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, James. All right, thanks for interviewing me. Thanks.